this man a proof. You can do it. Just do it! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very special Saturday morning edition of this week's hottest Pokemon cards. Why Why is it a special Saturday morning edition, you ask Mimic Brew? I'll tell you in just a sec. But before we get started, I put on a very nice shirt for this special occasion. It's Saturday morning. It's this week's hottest cards. I'm bringing this way too late to you guys. I'll tell you why in a sec. But this week, every week I do this series, I come up with a theme. I get all the cards together, I look at all the cards, and then I'm like, all right, let's, what's the what's the theme for this week? And this week, guys, it's beautiful bangers. That's right, every single card on this week's hottest cards, this episode, is just an absolutely stunningly gorgeous example of whatever rarity tier it's in. We got uh, SIRs in here, IRs, I got a Watsy card in here, some full arts that are bangers. It, by the way, I'm gonna, I have a thing I got I to tell you about the full arts of one of these sets, and we'll bring it up later. Trust me, this week is very much worth, every week is worth watching, but this special Saturday morning edition, I promise you, that's why I put this shirt on. All right, so real quick, a couple channel announcements, okay, guys? One, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you will see Mimic Brew and Mimic Brew 2. That's right, I have two Instagram profiles. It's a long story. But two, number two, is officially my backup account. So look, if you want to actually engage with me and see what I'm posting and see what I'm buying, follow Mimic Brew. If you are following Mimic Brew 2, just go ahead and please follow Mimic Brew, okay? All right, so there's that. And so guys, this video was supposed to come out a couple days ago. Got a little distracted. Just a little bit, just a little bit distracted. You know, but I had a drama video, okay? A drama video came out, uh, it was a big deal. Drama videos are never planned, they just happen. And when drama videos happen, you just gotta act on them, if you want to, that is. And so yeah, that's why this video is delayed. And I'll be honest, I was, I was also gonna post this video on Friday night, but Cool Trader Ryan, Pokerev, Pokeball, they have a little birthday stream, so yes, yes, I got distracted. I was heavily distracted watching Cool Trainer Ryan's stream. I'm very sorry, okay? But to make up for it, I have an absolute banger of a list for you guys. All right, guys. So let's get to it. Let's get into uh, last week's cards. All righty. So last week's list. You see a bunch of numbers on this. I'm going to speed run through this because I don't like sitting on here. But by the way, I took Mimikyu off, and every single week, I'm just going to put a uh, random photo that's obviously me and Shiny Vert. We just met at uh, Collecticon a couple weeks ago. I love Shiny Vert. I took a huge, huge shit on him in my last video. Pardon my language. Um, but yeah, we're already good. We're good. Me and him will always be good no matter how critical I am of him. Okay, so Armored Mewtwo is up. It's been on this list for like, what, five? What is that? That's like five, that, five weeks in a row. It's finally done going up and it's, it's tapered off at 85. So I might leave it on there for next week. But again, let's hurry. Eevee Unigaba, that just keeps going up and up and up and up, just like Armored Mewtwo. That's going to stay on the list for next week. Flareon EX, the most beautiful Flareon card ever, is finally going to be off of the list. Uh, Scissor from Obsidian Flames, Fallen Off. Minum, going sideways. Both Plusle and Minum are both doing very good. Um, Plusle just fell off the list last week because he was sideways. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, to, to keep your eye on Plusle and Minum. They're both way up there. Raichu IR took a big hit this week, basically wiped out almost all its gains from the whole month. It is down to uh, $40, as from Pele Evolved. Greninja, the big one, the big one of the entire era, uh, clicked back down under $300. Radiant Charizards, the last week's theme was all Charizards. And so I gotta go through these Charizards real quick. Uh, Radiant from Crown Zenith is flat. The, uh, the two Obsidian Flames ones, one's down, one's flat. And then the full art is back down a little. So it was at 30, 32 for a while, went up to 40. And then last week's at 38, now it's down to 35. So that'll be falling off. Zapdos, SIR, falling off. Wellspring Mask, Ogre Pond, okay? That's sideways, but up a little. So I just left it green because it's got a lot of high listings. Mew, the Bubble Mew from Paldean Fates is now up to an all-time high, guys. So check that out. That's whenever you see highlighted, I want your eyes to go to the highlighter area, obviously. Uh, Mew EX SIR from Paldean Fates is $93.08. That card, I have a feeling, is going to be on this list for a few weeks. Okay, Metagross IR falling off. And then literally I had so many cards, I had to just scoot them over and put more there because I didn't want the font to be so low. 
Pikachu IR is at an all-time high. Pikachu illustration rare from Scarlet and Violet. 151 guys at an all-time high. Fletchender's falling off. Mew EX from Pelé and Fates. Full Art's falling off. It's more sideways. Uh, two Full Arts from 151. Arbok and I, I wrote Golix. I meant to write Golem, obviously. Those are both falling off. Mew EX Full Art. Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection is at a one-year high. I'm not sure what its all-time high is, but I can guarantee you it that card, that beautiful card right there, is at a one-year high. And then Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, SM, uh, the, 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 the promo from Hidden Fates. This is, which one is this? Oh, this is the, uh, yeah, the Hidden Fates ETB. Oh, my gosh. That's flat. I got confused because I got another MZA bird on this list this week. All right, so there's that. Now, are you guys ready? Would you like to begin uh, with this week's hottest cards? I think I'm ready. Yes, I am. All right, let's do it. All right, as with every week, I always start out at the beginning of the Scarlet and Violet era, work my way through the Scarlet and Violet era, and then we branch off into other things like Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield, or whatever. All right, and we, again, we do have a Watsy card, a very nostalgic hitting uh, value. Watsy card we'll get to. All right, so Gardevoir, starting with the base set. Gardevoir right here, this is a this week's hottest cards, keep in mind. So on this week, it is actually up quite a bit. Last week it was $22, it's up to $26. So it took a huge jump this week. And I, I keep saying this week because on, you know, it's it's been higher. It's been much higher, it's been 30. But again, this is a, this week's hottest cards. And this card is very hot this week. Gardevoir, and I believe that puts it back up as the number one most uh, valuable card, I believe now, once it, since it did this little jump right here. All right, so let's keep it moving. I freaking love this card. If those of you that follow my channel, you know this is my favorite stage one Pokemon. You know that I I own a ton of copies of this card in Japanese, and I actually have a whole bunch, of, I have a few I'm gonna grade in, in English for sure. Uh, so right here, you see on the one month, it is up almost 30%, it's at $5.38. This is actually a all-time high. Yes, it is. Um, does this go all the way back to release? Yeah, pretty much. This card was really cheap out of the gate. And again, this is one of my favorite IRs, just IRs or ARs. I love Gloom, I love this artwork. It's finally going up a little. You know, obviously if this was in a different set that wasn't Obsidian Flames, it'd probably already be maybe double digits. But yeah, so Gloom, IR, Obsidian Flames, I love you so much. So happy to see you finally going up. All right, here we go. More IRs. Yeah, we're in a Scarlet and Violet 151. So, Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl. I mean, Poliwhirl. There it is. Poliwhirl. Got it. Sorry. Okay, so Poliwhirl. $13.03. Average daily sold, by the way. 10 copies. It's pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always uh, start referencing average daily sold for volume's sake since TCG Player just started doing that and giving you that information right there and that's actually a really big deal and when you're looking at charts that don't have high daily sold they can be misleading so an active volume chart with a large amount of average daily sold is real is real volume is real liquidity it's something you should pay attention to sorry i'm not trying to sound like a stock dude but yeah so polyworld is pretty much let's see real quick you know on the one month from nine to thirteen three month looks good six month looks really good one year it's base yeah it's i mean we never we never count the uh the pre-market or whatever pre whatever pre see pre-market the pre-sale okay this is a one year high for poly world all right let's, let's keep moving we gotta hurry up charmander ir we have like 16 cards recovered so i need to hurry so charmander ir where are you at are you at an all-time high so is that it's at a $33.61, which is the one month high, it's a three month high, it's a six month high. Whew. Yeah, it's basically an all time high since release. So Charmander IR is way up there again at 33 with 12, 12 daily sold. It's pretty decent. Nine Tails. Now, talking about full arts, everyone who has this card, you know, it pops. It just something about the yellow, it's like the most yellow card ever. Um, but what I was going to say about Full Arts in general, nobody talks about this. First of all, it's at $15.20, okay? Let me just show you that. But I want to talk about 151. So it's high, it's literally at its high, well, almost at its high. 
doing very good. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Three month and one month. So what I was going to say about Full Arts is you look at all the Sword and Shield Full Arts, you look at all the other sets in Scarlet and Violet Full Arts, just look at Full Arts in general, and then look at the Scarlet and Violet entire gallery of Full Arts. These cards, these Scarlet and Violet 151 is what I meant to say, Scarlet and Violet 151 Full Arts are holding value so much better than any other set that has Full Arts in it that you've ever seen. Like, top to bottom, there is so much value from you know the $120 Charizard just I'm just saying it is very impressive how much value the Scarlet and Violet 151 full arts hold all of them like this nine tails for example this nine tails was sword and shield full art be four bucks okay it's 1520 all right let's go to my favorite card this right here guys roaring moon this is my favorite SIR in Okay, what, real, let, me, let, me, let me talk about the price real quick because I have a little bit of a story to tell. So on the one month, it was at 50 and now it's up to $58, okay? It's not its all-time high. It had a big old bubble right there, as you can see, in May. But the uptrend, and the, what the recent uptrend is looking good. And for a car that's $58 to have six on the average daily sold, that's actually more than it sounds like. This card's a banger. So this card, I'm going to tell a quick story about this card. I know I'm in a hurry, but it's a cool story. So this card is already my favorite card. And two weeks ago, I'm at TCA Gaming's house, Rusty. I'm sitting at the dinner table. We're ripping open packs. I'm sitting next to Gary King Pokemon, and then TCA is sitting to the right of him. So I'm sitting next to Gary and Rusty. And I literally already told Gary that that was my favorite card because he just pulled it, the SAR. And on the last pack of my box, I pulled it. And then, like, immediately, uh, Gary King Pokemon and TCA Gaming both signed it. So, those are two of my favorite people in this entire hobby, by far. Like, by far, far. And to pull my favorite card right next to them on the last pack and have them sign it, that, I mean, if this wasn't my favorite card already, like, holy crap. Like, I'm just saying, like, I freaking love this card, and I have a crazy memory to love this card even more. All right, Sinchino, Sinchino. Sorry, I just that I just want to tell that story. To Portal Forces, Sinchino, real quick. On the one month, he's up from eight fifty. He's over ten dollars. He's double digits now. I want to take a bigger view here. So six month on the six month chart is where you can see ever since May, it's just been uptrend, 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 uptrend. And then look at that. It's just big time up from seven bucks. Just higher lows. This Sinchino is a beautiful card. It's just another one of those beautiful cards that's on this list. Just like this card, Roaring Moon, is a, a just outstandingly gorgeous. Okay, that's why it's my favorite card. It's just gorgeous. A lot of these cards are just gorgeous, gorgeous cards. All right, sorry. Let's hurry up. So here's another gorgeous card that's finally catching up to Sawbuck, and it's Deerling. Deerling, I believe, is it at an all-time high? Yeah, so Deerling is definitely at an all-time high at $7.10. Look at that. Woo! So yeah, Deerling's doing good. Finally catching up with Sawbuck. It only makes sense that a lot of these duo cards eventually catch up with each other for reasons related to needing to own both and whatnot. Uh, here we go. Here's another banger full art. So this is actually one of the few banger full arts that's not in Scarlet and Violet 151. It's in Twilight, Twilight Masqueroid. And that's Iron Thorns. Look at this big old jump. So, literally just last week, it was four or five bucks. Now it's eight bucks. What the heck? So, this might be playability related. Maybe something happened at Worlds. I just spiked to the demand for this card. That's usually what happens when you see a spike. It's a TCG related thing, unless it's a manipulation. And because this video is so long, I'm not going to go into the recent sales and figure out if it is getting manipulated. I'm just going to move on. It's a very beautiful, cool, full art for what it is. It's it's just it just bangs like the Scarlet Violet 151s. All right, some Shrouded Fable cards. Speaking of full arts, the Dabbing Bird. So this card is actually a big. I almost didn't catch this card because of the way this chart looks. It's capturing the pre-sale, so it looks like this. But then you go to the six month, and it cuts off the pre-sale for whatever reason. And you can see that this card started out at 14, and it's up to 20 dollars. It's above 20 dollars now. So as you can see, again, you can't really tell on, on those two charts, but right here. And what's going on with this card is 
the Pheasant Dippity SIR, which is highly playable, it's like $68 right now, and a lot of people are like, hey, well, here's the way cheaper, cheaper alternative, and it's a dabbing bird, okay? Like, that's actually pretty cool. So, it's a cool full art, it looks good, and so people wanting this instead of dropping 70 bucks on the SIR is what's happening here. All right, let's move on to another one. So, basic darkness, I almost said metal, darkness energy. The metal energy is not worth near as much, but it is in the set. Uh, the basic darkness energy is $25, $24.91. This card at release went as low as 12 bucks, and it has literally doubled in price. So darkness energy from a Shrouded Fumble. It's doing very good. I don't know why I clicked on six month. I'm also not seeing a large uh, average daily sold, but yet the chart looks pretty... It doesn't look very blocky. It looks like there's more than that sold. But yeah, it's 25 bucks for a Hyper Rare Energy card, all right? All right, now we are going to branch out of Scarlet and Violet. That was all the Scarlet and Violet cards. Okay, so what do I got coming? I got a Garchomp. Yeah, Garchomp, I love this Trainer Gallery card so much. It's about $27. So look at the one month. It's up from 24. Let's look at the three month because obviously this card had a shark fin. So yeah, this card did have a shark fin, as you see there. The big old bubble. The sword and shield bubble of 2024 is what that is. It's a beautiful card, but before the bubble, you know, it was 19, 18, 20 bucks. Big bubble up to 45, and then now it's creeping its way back up to 30, and it's at $27. It's a very cool card. I happily own a couple of these. But yeah, there you go. All right, now let's branch out to an X and Y promo. This promo, the, the Blastoise is so in your face, you almost don't even see or realize the Gyarados and the Vaporeon in there. That Those two alone, like, are just mean. Like, that Gyarados looks mean as hell. But this card, $62 now, up from 57 on the one month. You uh, keep going out, you can just kind of see that this card has just kind of been taking, slowly but surely, taking off all year, starting in January. So look at the six month from 52. Very beautiful card. I bet this card is very difficult to get in a Gem at 10. Just because it's a promo. But yeah, that Gary looks so mean. There's so many mean Gary cards. And Gary's just an asshole. Alright, so there you go. Last we see X. Uh, XY 122 Black Star promo. Alright, now a Watsy card. So this Watsy card is on this list not just because it's up on the week, but because it hits so many nostalgic spots. Because it really does. It's a trainer card, so it's Misty's Blank, it's Misty's Seedra, it's got a stamp on it, a lot of these have swirls, it's got your little Misty picture on there, it's just, it's just such, for someone like me that just ripped open, you know, I, I collected it in 1999, first edition fossil, you know, all that, this is just such a value purchase, even at its, uh, even at it being up to, at $11, so anyway, this card is $9, now it's $11.31. But I want to show you the three month up from eight dollars, and the six month up from six dollars. The one year, you can kind of see it has this little stair step scenario where it's been as low as six seventy one and it's up to eleven thirty one. But in my opinion, if you want a super value nostalgic stamp promo banger, Misty Cedra Kingdra is hot right now, so probably Cedra is pretty hot, you know. So I'm just saying, Misty Cedra, this is a fantastic Watsy promo that you can get. That is. Definitely seeing some interest right now. All right, so let's get to the other MZA bird I was talking about. This is a secret rare from Hidden Fates. A lot of MZA cards are moving. So right here, you see it was $13.50. Where are we at now? $15. Bucks. That's on the one month. Do, 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 do. So that's pretty flat leading up to this month. So basically, really flat around $13. And just in the last week or two, it popped up to $15. And on the Z1, yeah, you see it was under $10, so it's up 50%, or like, well, almost 50%. It could be if the year started in, you know, October right there. But yeah, so MZA, this one's doing really good, just like the Hidden Fates ETB promo is doing pretty good. And our final card, did I leave? I'm going to have to edit and put the best deal banger on here because I just realized maybe you know what I'll just look for it live I'll just do it live who cares so our last card before the best deal banger of the week is none other than Mimikyu okay Mimikyu it's actually a secret rare it's not a trainer gallery because it's from Cosmic Eclipse 
And this card is only $10.78, and it's up, okay? Up from nine on the one month. On the three month, look how beautiful that card is too. Ace Roller in there. Oh my god. So, real quick, as you can see, there's your three month chart. Here's your six month chart. It is actually just cracked above that, even though it doesn't look like it. And yeah, so it has a low of 851, and now it's at a high of almost $11. And it's, it's freaking Mimikyu, it's Cosmic Eclipse, it's Ace Roll, it's Secret Rare. Come on! That's a beautiful banger. You can't go wrong buying this card. Alright, so real quick, we are going to get to the best deal banger, which is... Let's go to the prototype cards. There it is. So for the first time in a long time, basically since almost forever, Little Baby Shiny Pikachu, it's a popular card, so I like to, whenever it comes to best deal bangers, I like to find cards that people are actually buying, that people are trying to buy, that people are interested in. Baby Shiny Pikachu from Paldean Fates is under $30 now, for the first time in a long time. Very long time, actually. So, right after release, it, it went down to $26.25, but then it immediately shot up to $46. And then it kind of says slowly, 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 right? So this card is now $29. It's under 30 for the first time since basically two weeks after release. And, you know, its lowest was 26. So is it going to break its low and be like a $20 card? You know, I don't know what to, I don't know. But I do know that if you buy this card for under $30, you know, there's not very many people that have been able to do that over the last three months. So that is why Pikachu uh, Baby Shiny is the best deal. Banger. All right, that's it. We're done. All right, guys, that's all I got. Um, don't expect too many uh, special Saturday morning editions of this. I just, you know, I got distracted, and but there's no way in hell I'm not going to do a weekly Pokemon card video. So again, thank you guys very much. If you follow me on Instagram, please follow Mimic Brew, not Mimic Brew 2. And I love you guys, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.